So we've arrived in Barcelona. Thanks to EA Sports FIFA, we're going to be continuing with the Road to Madrid campaign. Later on today, we're going to be attending the second leg of Manchester United versus Barcelona in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. For those of you that don't know what the Road to Madrid campaign is, it's a campaign run by EA Sports this year that follows four content creators who follow the team that they support through the Champions League this year. We have Manchester United, we've got Manchester City, we've got Liverpool, and as well as that, we have Spurs. Now, if Man United do manage to pull off a miracle tonight at the new Camp and progress through to the semi-final, it's more than likely, from the first leg of Liverpool versus Porto, that Liverpool are gonna be progressing through to the semi-final. Now, if they do, and Manchester United do, that does mean that I'll be facing Matt HD Gamer in the semi-final of the Champions League in this campaign road to Madrid. But the first thing we're going to be doing today, guys, is we're going to be trying to get a prediction of how Barcelona versus Manchester United is going to go on FIFA 19. Last time we were here in the round of 16, we played PSG fan Arsene, who was very confident going into the game and thought PSG were going to have a fairly comfortable win against Man United in the second leg. We're doing it again today for Barcelona. I'm actually joined with my mate Omar today, who's going to be representing Barcelona. We've got our squads on the screen here. I'm playing as Man United. I'm taking them into the 4-1-2-1-2. This isn't how I think they're gonna be lining up tonight uh, against Barca. This is just how I think they perform the best in game on FIFA 19. Uh, we're going with Lindelof, Smalling, Young, and Shaw as the back line. We've got Matic in that CDM spot. Pogba on the left, Herrera on the right. Lingard in, between the, uh, in behind the two strikers. And then up front, the two strikers being Lukaku and Rashford. Omar, Barcelona, what's the lineup saying? I've gone for a 4 2 3 1 with Mtt and PK at the back, Busquets and Rakitic in the middle, Dembele on the left, Coutinho on the right, and Messi and Pine Suarez up front. Okay, guys, these are the two lineups. Let's jump into the game and see how it pans out on FIFA 19. Come on, then. I cannot, I cannot be seen losing to you on my video. Oh, I'm not helping you. Come on, help yourself. Watch it, Oh, mm. nah. Strong start here from Barcelona. I don't really like this. Give me that ball back. Yeah, nice. Oh, see, he's on. He's on. She's dinner, though. Pop the camera. What was the guy on the line? <laughs> <laughs> Bit disappointed it's only taken me 10 minutes to go one you up against you, but, you know. Man, Matic has to turn up tonight. It's just yeah. too easy. It's just too easy. Absolute pick to pop. Who's Barcelona, me or you? <laughs> Woo! Uh. Oh, the, the, way, the way I'm controlling this game I is beautiful. Don't take the piss. <laughs> Stay up. Anyone else, this one could you skill? Bloody hell. Easy work, easy work, first half there. Look at that, cruise control. Yeah, would have wanted a header there, but that works for us. Oh, crumbs. Oh, what a goal! Come on! That was, that was sick. Was it though? That was, was it though? Come on! Oh! Oh, you've got to be coming. You've got to be... Come on! Oh, oh you... Oh. Oh, 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 Honestly, what... PK just turned into the Great War of China then. I couldn't get past him. Good game, but just wasn't quite enough from you, was it, unfortunately? I grew into it nicely. You grew into it, but you just weren't ready for that beginning. Mm. Hit me in the face. <laughs> that hard. Punch in the face, yeah, you're right. You're I hit right. you real hard at the base at the beginning of that game. Not that hard, but... <laughs> right, there we are then, guys. We can see here, FIFA has predicted the second leg to be a 2-1 win for Manchester United 
at the new Camp. If that happened this evening, that would be absolutely fantastic. And United would be going through to the semi-finals with two away goals. Time to get into the predictions, guys. When we played Paris in the second leg uh, against PSG, I got pretty much all the predictions I made in the video spot on. I said we needed an early goal. I said Lukaku would score two. And I also said that we'd get a winning goal in the dying minutes of the game, which we did in the 94th minute. Now, my predictions against Barca, they're incredible at home. It's going to be the, by far the biggest test United have had this season. I'm gonna go with an optimistic 1-0 to take us through to extra time, being the, uh, the way goal. And then in extra time, I truly, guys, I, I, I just don't have a clue. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed and I'm trying to stay positive like I did against in the prediction against PSG. I'm gonna say it's gonna go through to penalties. And I have to be optimistic, I have to be positive, guys. I'm gonna pray that United could get through on penalties. So we've just gone and picked up the tickets guys and as we've picked up the tickets Man United have announced the squad for tonight, the starting 11s. So obviously in goal we've got David De Gea. The defence is consisting of Jones, Lindelof, Smalling and Young. I'm assuming on the right is going to be Jones of that back four. Young on the left. Now there was a lot of talking points as to whether or not Young was going to be in the starting lineup. He was absolutely dreadful in the first leg against Barcelona and for me, he, he's, he's been by far, in recent games, Man United's worst player. In the midfield then, we've got the three-man, Fred McTominay and Pogba. It looks like Lingard is going to be in behind two strikers, which again, interestingly, is Martial and Rashford. Martial and Rashford starting up front. Lukaku starting on the bench. I would have quite liked to see Lukaku start this game. And uh, as well as that then, we do have the likes of Mata, Alexis, uh, Pereira on the bench as well, um, if needs be. So it's not the worst starting lineup in the world. It's a massive loss for us uh, with Shaw being suspended. That does make the defence a little bit dodgy. I can imagine Messi is going to be looking at Jones, Lindelof, Smalling and Young and he's just going to be, he's going to be fancying. I, I think a lot of the Barcelona squad are going to be fancying that. If those, all the, everybody has to turn up today basically guys. Uh, we're about an hour and a half away from kickoff. If every player in that squad turns up, we play like a team, we can get a result this evening. So, without further ado guys, let's get into the game. <laughs> Awarded to Barcelona. However, it's gone to VAR. VAR saved once again, and it's been ruled out. No pen given. And it looks like it's a uh, looks like it's a drop ball actually. No penalty. We've been all over Barcelona in these opening 12 minutes. We've started brilliantly. One nil down in the 17th minute. Uh, Young absolutely gifting the ball to Messi. He's shot. He's, he's been so bad for us recently. It's unbelievable. Literally gifted the ball on a plate for Messi. Shocking for Young. Absolutely shocking. First minute, got 2 0 down, and once again, it's from a player who recently has been shocking for us. Absolutely shocking. It's David De Gea. Messi uh, on the right foot. It's a, it's a simple save. It's an absolute simple save. And he's just, he's just fumbled it into our own goal. 2 0 down, and we're only, we're only 20 minutes into the game. 
two players have just cost us two goals in the space of minutes. It's half time now, boys, and uh, I'm, I'm fuming, I'm upset, I'm disappointed, and I'm gutted because I, I truly thought we were going to come here and actually do something. But the first 45 minutes, Messi's on the brace. Uh, they could have easily have been three up. Uh, Davin Hayer actually making a wonder save, but we're two 0 down. Two goals in space of minutes. Uh, Young, oh, I was surprised he was starting today. He, he, he was abysmal last week versus Barcelona at home. Two individual mistakes from two different players, uh, and it, it's arguably cost us a tie. So next 45 minutes, we're not going to be expecting much. Barca, they're not going to want to attack. They're just going to sit behind the ball. They're 3 0 up, they're comfortable, but let's see what happens in the second half. Coutinho has just put 3 0 up with fair play to him. It's a banging goal, absolutely banging goal. 3 0. It's just going from bad to worse. I mean, it's. <laughs> Right, that is full time guys, uh, truly I don't really know what more I can add to what I did at half time. Young and David De Gea, both at fault massively in the first half, I, I said it at half time, I don't know what, I don't know what Young's doing, let's just get rid of the ball, he's under pressure, he had two or three players closing him down, he had about three chances to get rid of the ball and he decided to cut back inside, got caught out, ball gifted to Messi, came inside left foot. Messi's, Messi's putting that ball in the corner. Then David De Gea a few minutes later, straight through his arms. Got to be caught. First two attempts from Barca, they're 2 0 up. There we have it then, guys. Man United, unfortunately, have been knocked out of the Champions League after losing this evening 3 0 to a far, far superior Barcelona. And the Messi that I was missing last week turned up at the new camp and uh, caused chaos to Manchester United. He was, he proved as to why he's arguably the best footballer in the world tonight. He was absolutely outstanding and all credit as well to Coutinho. The goal was a screamer. The goal was absolutely a screamer. But that guys unfortunately does mean that my road to Madrid campaign with EA Sports FIFA unfortunately has come to an end. The dream of progressing against Barcelona Moving on into the semi-final against Liverpool, a match the game out, unfortunately isn't going to be happening. But massive thank you guys to EA Sports FIFA for giving me this opportunity to go to every single home and away fixture in the knockouts of the Champions League. It's something that I don't think I'll ever get to do again, guys, especially following Manchester United against the likes of Barcelona and PSG, and especially being part of that 3-1 comeback uh, against PSG a couple of weeks ago is absolutely phenomenal. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to. Until my next one, I'll be speaking to you guys later. Take care.